Hello? Oh, yeah. Okay, everything is good. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, uh, bon dia, buenos dias. Uh, I'm super happy to be here today on the second day. The first day yesterday, I've been talking mostly about the technology, about the newer feature of Zabbix, but today I'd like to pay your attention to to Zabbix company, and I would like to reveal some information of how we work and what we actually what we actually do. So, uh, first of all, uh, I will talk about the customers. The customers are really important for us. Customers is something that really, well, basically makes us alive as a company, yeah? Because customers, customers are those companies who, who use Zabbix and who pay, who pay us and who purchase uh, a different commercial uh, support. So, for example, we, I think Zabbix is very well known in many different industries. Yesterday, I mentioned many, many industries, right? Like aerospace, uh, agriculture, uh, well, car, car production, whatever. But I think Zabbix, um, historically, for some reason, maybe it's because I am some, uh, my first work when I worked, when I started work on Zabbix, I've been working in a bank, in a financial institution. Uh, maybe because of this, Zabbix is very well known in the financial industry. So Zabbix has been used by many banks, by many financial institutions all around the world, in, uh, in Europe, in the United States, in Japan, here in Latin America, and there are many examples of those, uh, of those companies. Uh, telcos, also, many companies around the world, the biggest telcos, they use Zabbix mostly. Uh, of course, there are different use cases, uh, but uh, mostly is to monitor the well, IT infrastructure to monitor, in many cases, the quality of services uh, they deliver to, 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 to their customers. So there is a very good, that's, that's what I, what, that's what I'm saying. Uh, Zabbix is about helping uh, businesses uh, deliver a good, good level of services. And of course, it's not only about finance, it's not only about the telcos, uh, communications. There are many companies uh, who, well, from, from retail, for example. So the, the biggest retail network, they use Zabbix. I think the biggest installation uh, of Zabbix uh, in regards of number of proxies is from retail. So it's 30,000 of proxies, 30,000 of proxies. It's basically it's a network of 30,000 of shops with one proxy per each shop. Uh, and it comes, from, it comes from retail. And it's all monitored actually by one, by, one Zabbix, by one Zabbix server. But not only retail, you can see here, well, Dell or ICANN, uh, Petrobras, well, Global, Airbus, Defense and Space, well, Renair uh, Retail, and NAP. This is a broadcasting, well-known broadcasting company uh, from... Europe. They also use Zabbix to monitor. I've, I've been to the data center as an app. It's really impressive. It's very, it's all kind of optical communication, streaming huge amounts of video information, 3D information, doing rendering in the real time of the studios, these green, green boxes. And the, the, whole, the, the, the whole environment is, is all monitored by, by Zabbix. So um, I think uh, at the beginning of this year, I just asked the sales team, just please, can you, can you, uh, can you tell me how many of the largest, the biggest world's companies use Zabbix? Yeah? And we discovered that this, at this, at this Fortune 500, this is the largest 500 uh, companies in the world, worldwide. And at this moment, we know at least 104 companies uh, who use Zabbix, who takes care, uh, who, who t uh, takes advantage, takes advantage of Zabbix, which is, which is, I think, really, really uh, good achievement for us, for us as a company and for us as a, as a product. Uh, let's talk about vision. So why we are doing this and uh, kind of what are the goal, what's the vision, so w w what, what direction, what direction we are moving. And obviously, the, the vision is really to help businesses, to help businesses provide flawless services for, well, basically for better life. 
yeah? W whatever industry we take, I don't know, financial industry, well, of course, we want uh, our payments to be processed quickly, uh, POS terminals works, ATM networks works, e-commerce, exactly the same. We want to buy something uh, in the internet. Uh, well, we, we want this to be working properly. Or healthcare, for example, is really, really important. And Zabbix is used more and more in the healthcare industry. Exactly the same. This is exactly the reason uh, why, why, uh, why we, we develop Zabbix, is to help businesses to deliver the best possible uh, service. And our mission here is develop universal affordable monitoring solution to transform data oceans, the information we collect, into meaningful insights. Yeah? So into meaningful, in, in just we, we give some meaning, basically meaning to the data. When Zabbix collects some metrics, it does some analysis, it, it, it basically gives us insight, gives us information of what's happening, what's happening in, uh, in our uh, companies. And of course, the strategy is concentrate on monitoring. So monitoring is still kind of a number one, is bread of butter of our product and our company. We accept universal features, so in Zabbix we don't do customer specific development yeah if someone asks us oh please develop this feature we want this feature to be useful for everyone so we don't do customer specific development we want we fe we extend functionality we extend the feature makes it useful for everyone uh, create a minimum dependencies you know zabbix doesn't have much dependencies okay we depend on the database on uh, some libraries maybe like things like uh, well php some Zlib, for example, for data compression, but we try to keep the number of de dependencies on the very minimum level. It's just because we really care about quality and we really want to be about security and we want to be, we want to have a feeling like 100% responsible for the work we deliver to, to our users. If we had so many de dependencies on other software, we couldn't, we couldn't be responsible for our product at the end. Yeah, and quality, security over speed, that's, that's what I mentioned. Uh, decisions, especially when it comes to design decisions, we're always thinking long term, very, very long term. We don't, we, 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 of course, sometimes we are doing mistakes, yeah, as everyone, yeah? But in most cases, we, we are really focused and we spend so much time discussing uh, designs for the, for, the, for the new features, and I'm, I'm so much involved in this process at Zabbix. Uh, business model. So it's uh, basically very simple. Well, we, we, we want to create the best uh, monitoring solution. We want many users to, to, use, this, to, to use this solution. That's, 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 that's our users. Obviously, we have many, many users all around the world. And for those who is interested in, uh, in, uh, in our services, like uh, support services or training services, you are very welcome to come to us and to our partners and deliver the service, and, and we will deliver uh, these services to you. So this, this is, uh, basically, this is, our, uh, this, is, this is the strategy, this is the how we work. We want to really create a very useful uh, product for, for all of you, for all of us, uh, and then you decide, can you, will you do all on your own, or you'll take advantage of the help of uh, us as vendor of our partners. So we do provide those subscription services, support services, and it's uh, all designed for s small businesses, uh, medium businesses, and enterprise and global. So I think, for example, in Latvia, in uh, our headquarters, the primary uh, service is, which is purchased by the customers is enterprise. Yeah, so this is, this is enterprise. It comes with a limited number of uh, Zabbix proxies, Zabbix servers, a very good uh, uh, SLA in regards of response time, and, and so on and so forth. So en enterprise, I would say, it's uh, our leading, our leading uh, product, at least for Zabbix SIA, yeah? well, in Europe. In Europe. Um, and of course, uh, of course, uh, this is, is, it really has a great value, especially for, for, for big companies. Yeah, and uh, 
it's um, it, it's really hard. It's really hard to it's really hard to uh, overestimate because our engineers they have a great knowledge. They participate in the turnkey solution. They they supporting customers well on a daily basis, and uh, we provide a very very quick response time to all any questions or any questions you have. And we do provide a professional training. And professional training is a great way how to get most of Zabbix. Because even myself, sometimes I forget about some features of Zabbix. We develop some feature, and I, I don't really remember, well, can we do it this way or maybe that way? But uh, being constantly well trained and, uh, get, and if you're always getting this kind of information, the very up-to-date information from Zabbix team or from our training, training partners, it really it really um, gets into a situation when you save your time and money. And if you ask me what, what is the kind of best investment you can make, I think the best investment is really to go through prof Zabbix professional training. It will save you so much time when you'll be implementing Zabbix uh, in your company. Yeah? So I, I think it's, 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 it's really, really important. And of course, turnkey solutions, which is especially a very good product for maybe for larger companies. When the larger companies approach uh, our partner or uh, us and asking for turnkey solutions. So basically to replace, maybe some, in many cases, it's just replacement of existing system to Zabbix. Yeah? Uh, and in other cases, it's just implementation of the monitoring of on, uh, on, for, for, for for, for IT infrastructure or for monitoring of KPIs or for something, for, for something else. And uh, in most cases, this is a very straightforward process. We work with some RFI, RFP documents, request for proposal, request for information document. We fill those questionnaires. Uh, then we basically uh, introduce an implementation plan. We deliver it to a customer. We agree on the budget. We agree on a terms and conditions, and then we deliver, we deliver turnkey solution, uh, which, is, which is documented, and then we, we perform a knowledge transfer. So basically documentation plus a proper training uh, to, uh, to the customer. So basically at the end, customer receive everything uh, he needed uh, in regards of monitoring and in regards of implementation of Zabbix. Sometimes it's not only Zabbix which we implement, but sometimes it's Zabbix plus some complementary products, yeah, just to solve a customer needs. And of course, the template building and integration services. Uh, you know that we have many, uh, in, well, templates, so integrations ready for you. But if you need something special, or if you're working in some well, specific industry, you have some niche requirements which are not covered here, okay, again, you're very welcome to approach uh, us, our partners, and we will develop templates or a special integrations uh, for you. Yeah, so that's, that's actually uh, part of our, our business. That's what we do on a daily basis. What else? Uh, software development, just maybe a little bit uh, of um, more detailed information how we build software in Zabbix. And of course, uh, the roadmap, yeah? I mentioned yesterday, the roadmap is publicly available. It's constantly updated. Maybe I, I personally update it maybe once per maybe two months or something, as soon as we have some major changes in the roadmap. And uh, the roadmap obviously is based on the vision and a customer request and a community and a community feedback. Yeah, so you can vote for those Zbix next issues in our feature request tracker, and we look at this and uh, we then we build we build a roadmap. Roadmap consists of a strategic features. It consists of features which are uh, top voted. For example, the load balancing we discussed yesterday for proxies, load balancing availability for proxies, one of the top voted features by Zabbix community, or support for uh, custom inventory fields, another top voted feature from a community. 
And actually, that's the reason we see it's, it's really needed. It's something needed. That's why we include it into a roadmap. So at this moment, at this moment we have over two years of planning horizon. I, I'd love to extend it even more, yeah? Uh, but of course, it, uh, well, it, it just takes, takes some, I don't know, maybe some kind of discipline and some, some uh, better understanding of, of how Zabbix may evolve in the future. But at this moment, the planning horizon is about uh, two years. So basically, next major release and, and, and another uh, major release. So, um, yeah, at this moment, we have well-defined release policy. So, actually, it's every six months we tend to be doing all our best to have a new major release. Every third major release, it's LTS. So, uh, if everything goes well, then every one and a half years, uh, we are receiving a new LTS release. So LTS is long-term supported version of Zabbix, and long-term supported version of Zabbix means we have three years of uh, general bug fixing plus two years of uh, security-related fixes. So basically, we, have, we are having uh, five years of uh, support for LTS releases. Yeah? And non-LTS releases, like 6.2, 6.4, they're non-LTS releases. We are supporting them till, uh, till next um, release plus one month. Okay, so 6.2 will be supported until uh, Zabbix 6.4 uh, uh, is released plus one month. So it's approximately uh, six, uh, seven, uh, eight months on, on average. Yeah, and the software development process. So this is, this is actually how is this. Okay, this is basically the workflow. Uh, yeah, there are many things not not so well visible, but the idea here we always start. This development process is very well defined, and it's uh, optimized for a few things: for quality for security and obviously for, for efficiency, uh, efficiency. Yeah, I'm always thinking how to make this process kind of delivery pipeline. Actually, this is a value delivery pipeline. It starts with some idea. Okay, we, we want to implement, for example, uh, load balancing for proxies. Okay, then we start working on a design. Sometimes this process takes years, really, literally years. We have some idea. But it, it, it takes long of thinking uh, and um, evaluating a different, um, I don't know, different choices, a different uh, uh, possible ways of how it can be implemented this way or that way. We need to take care about backward compatibility. We need to take care that the feature we develop will work well in long term in the new releases. It's compatible with the existing functionality in Zabbix. It, it just plays well with what we have in Zabbix. That's why it takes so long time. Yeah, but we always start with a, with a design document, with kind of high-level design document. Then this high-level design document goes to development. Development team works on a technical specification document. Then it gets accepted. We have mockups for Zabbix uh, UI if there are some UI changes associated. Then it goes to development. Then it goes to QA. Then it goes to usability review. Then uh, there, are, there could be some different iteration. Then it goes to acceptance, uh, to documentation. And after everything is documented, tested, coded, we consider that this feature is ready and it's merged to, to master of our Git repository. So it's a very long process. It's well defined, but th this process is here to ensure the quality and the, and the security of Zabbix product. And uh, yeah, so many, many uh, things. And of course, we follow our coding guidelines, uh, and uh, there are so many automation happening in, in, in between. Yeah, so speaking about the quality assurance, at this moment we have uh, seven uh, guys in our QA team. So they are completely kind of independent of the dev team. So they have the new feature, they have a specification, then the test if everything is working fine. There are so many automation 
they do some automa uh, tests, uh, automation for the tests. Uh, they also do functional load usability tests. They do some manual testing. Uh, there are many regression testing, and also we use some, again, automation tools for static code, for static dynamic uh, code analysis. It's all, it's all automated. It's all in to ensure that we deliver the highest uh, quality of the software. And uh, yeah, so I'd like to remind you that we have a two projects in the zabbixsupport.com. One is uh, supportzabbix.com, one is zabbix. It's for bug reports. So if you discovered some bug in Zabbix, okay, feel free to, to report this bug at Zabbix uh, project. Or if you have some feature uh, you want to see in Zabbix, yes, please uh, r r fill this feature uh, under Zabbix uh, next project. Well, what's next? And documentation. Again, so at this moment we have four dedicated documentation writers who who are well, working well full time, making sure that we have very up to date and high quality documentation of Zabbix, and we deliver this documentation in English and it's available in JIT repository. Uh, and then, thanks to the effort of our partners and our community members, documentation and also also Zabbix UI, it gets translated to many languages. Yeah. So I think, for example, UI for 6.4 available in 10 languages and progress 13 languages and documentation it's much bigger effort because documentation well yesterday there was a question about the how big is documentation it's more than 1000 of pages in a pdf yeah obviously it's a huge effort to translate it so now it's available in four languages and progress for more than six uh, languages so again, if you're interested in, a in helping of translation of the documentation, please go to translatezabbix.com. It's really super easy to take part in the translation of Zabbix. Really, it's a very straightforward process. And we use, uh, out we use uh, for example, the Google API for automatic translation. So your work is just to validate that automatically translated string is they make sense, yeah? If not, you just make some changes, press uh, apply, and that's it. So it's very, very straightforward process. Well, security. Uh, yeah, we, we're having a dedicated security team at Zabbix. Uh, the, those are very well-skilled professionals with different certificates. Um, and uh, mentioned yesterday also that we have this uh, public list of security responsibilities available. If we have also very strict, uh, very, very well-defined security policy publicly available on our website, which describes how you report security-related issues to Zabbix, how we fix them, what is our policy in regards of, in regards of uh, uh, security. So, yeah, Zabbix uh, companies are ISO 2701 certified, uh, starting from the last of the, the, the pre well, uh, end, of the last, uh, end of the last year, which is, which, is, which is a really good achievement for us because it shows that the processes we use within the company, not necessarily related to product development, but the way how we deal with uh, private information, how we deal with the, uh, well, support tickets, uh, all the workflows regarding uh, communication with the users and customers and partners, they follow the best, uh, the best practices which are defined in ISO 2701. Uh, at this moment, yeah, Zabbix, uh, we deliver Zabbix, which is, again, for on-prem use, in uh, for use in cloud. Uh, for on-prem use, there are many, many packages, uh, for many, many types of packages, for many uh, types of Linux operating systems, like Red Hat, Debian, uh, Raspberry, uh, for Raspberry Pi, uh, for example, for Raspbian. And also, we do provide the Docker images for proxy, for Zabbix server, for Zabbix UI. At this moment, the total number of downloads per month of everything, all packages plus Docker images, plus, uh, yeah, mostly it, it's, it, it comes from a Docker images, yeah? So more than 5 million of downloads uh, um, uh, per month. Yeah, so this is a huge number. Of course, we don't know how, how, how many, 
well, a real installations of Zabbix we have in the world. We don't collect any telemetry information. Uh, of course, sometimes it's nice to, to, to learn more about our customers. And maybe we will include some optional uh, features to Zabbix to learn more how Zabbix is being used. But at this moment, we don't collect any data from, from user setup. So, um, so uh, the, it's, 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 it's really hard to predict how many uh, real Zabbix installations we have around the world, but I would say it's about uh, uh, hundreds of thousands all around the world, for sure. Uh, and, and the company, so last, yeah, at this moment we have almost 140 uh, professionals um, in Zabbix company. It's not only about uh, Zabbix SIA, but it's also Zabbix Latam and Zabbix Brazil, Zabbix Mexico. It's all together and we are constantly looking for new talents. We are hiring uh, all the time. Uh, for example, go to our website, you can always find probably like 10 open positions. So we are, we are hiring it all the time. And our hiring process is actually quite slow because we really want to find people who would stay with us for a long time, yeah? And if you see the, distrib uh, at the, at the distribution of Zabbix employees by the lens of service, I think nearly, if we combine some numbers, maybe nearly 60, 70 percent uh, stayed, stayed in Zabbix for more than uh, five years. And we have... Uh, uh, I don't know, 20, uh, uh, how many, pers yeah, so we have many, we, 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 and, and of course we're constantly hiring, that's why, that's why you have also some guys with one, two years of experience as Zabbix and one uh, under, under one year. So last year uh, we have received uh, an award from um, a Latvian Employers Association as a being the best IT employer in Latvia in, in, in the last year, yeah? So uh, this is a great achievement for us because, yeah, sometimes we are, we are doing some improvements within the company, we, but we don't really know how other people look at you, yeah? And when you're receiving some good, um, I don't know, the signal from, from, from someone else, it's, it's, always, it's always a pleasure to have, a, to have a words, a words like, like this. And speaking about the financial maturity and sustainability, it's, it's really important, especially for larger companies, when they decide, uh, shall we work with Zabbix? Because maybe Zabbix is really kind of a small company, maybe it's not so stable. But actually, in Latvia, for example, all financial information of all companies are publicly available. Yeah, so you may... You may, you may get it uh, actually for free. And this is uh, some numbers, starting from the, the, the first year of Zabbix, we've been constantly growing. And constantly growing number of, uh, in, in, in the revenue and financial data, and also in uh, number of people, yeah? Always, it's about approximately 20%, 20, 25, 30%, 15% growth uh, over, all, over all these years. Uh, and uh, yeah, so on the, the financial results, we are, not, we are no longer kind of a small company in Latvia. In Latvia, we are a mid-sized company. And uh, we also have some requirements. So our financial results needs to be audited by independent auditors. So that all information you, you, you see is it's audited, by, audited by, uh, by auditors, auditor companies. And yeah, I, we don't have any venture capital, so it's, it's fully, uh, actually it's owned by me, so I'm the only owner of the company. We don't have any venture capitalists on board, that's why we don't have such a pressure maybe on making kind of, I don't know, let's make more revenue, hire many, many people from the market. No, I really consider, I, I really like this kind of steady, steady development, kind of evolutionary development of the company, of the product. Yeah, so sometimes we may seem slow, but in reality, I'm always telling our people that, yeah, we, let's make things faster. Okay, let's deliver new features faster, yeah? So, <laughs> and um, having, having, more, having more people in a team is always helps because we really can deliver more value to, to uh, our, uh, our users. Thank you.
Thank you very much. I don't know if you have some time for questions. Thank you.